Hello friends, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to use GlowView or Glow button. So what our result will look like will be like this. This is a glowing view, so you have the main color and some glow on its sides. So the first thing you want to do is open your sketchware project. Then what I've done is I've added a linear tool inside linear one. I've made gravity center. Then our linear two will be our glow view. Let me just say glowing view example. Glow view example. Okay, so don't mind the text. Uh, the text is just there for formality. Otherwise, we'll be working with linear two. So let's add our library. Let's just go to the repository for the glow layout. So you can find this on Git. I'll leave the link in the description. You can also find the library when you get the project in Sketch. So once you use Sketch to the latest version, we import the library for you automatically. Otherwise, if you don't have the library, we're going to copy the dependency. Then go back to your sketchware. Here, we're going to add the library by going to local library manager. Then download it. Let's use DX for our DXer. Just paste the dependency there. Hit start. Okay, so our library has been downloaded, so just enable it by ticking there, then go back to layout editor. Then here, let's look at the documentation. What what does it say for us to initialize the glow view? So the, we have already done step two, which is adding the dependency. Then step three, we now use it in our layout. So the glow view has a number of attributes. For this example, we're just going to use these here, these few. So simply copy these. We're going to convert the view. If it's a linear layout, you have linear layout here. Linear layout. So what you have to do is just delete the linear layout and paste that then save then we are going to also add our attributes on inject here it will be empty so to inject we just copy our attributes then paste them on inject now let's customize this. Let's just make sure the code is clean. Okay, so there we go. The first attribute is button color. Uh, let me say I want teal. So 009688. That's a hex which I've just entered there for the color teal. Then unpressed glow size 20, you can change that size if you want. Then press glow size, you can change that size. Let's say 35. Yeah, but you can change them to whatever value if you is okay with you. Then what to be the glow color? I want the glow color to be uh, OD47L1. Then the corner radius, let it be 100. So we save this. Then we have to enable app compact or else we are going to face a missing class error. So if this is off, just turn it on. Then now we can run our project. So you can use this tiny library for making your views look nice. Uh, yeah, just have those views glowing. That's cool.
so we install this open and boom there we go we have our view glowing with the colors as we set them so you can customize it in a way that you you want for it to look exactly how you imagine it to look